this week on the spotlight. We talked to the Bulls coach. He seems to be a little calmer. I don't know why. We talked to a Valentine on Valentine's Day. And then we go to the 2016 Benkowski Championship match from Jax. Another excerpt. And then we talk to two important White Sox bullpen guys. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, it's the 29th year of the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Sports Spotlight. They have tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and more, 108th in Kedzie. Lansing Floral Shop, open 8 a.m. daily. Custom Silk Flowers, Bridgewater Candles, Great Flowers, 708-474-1212. A great floral shop, Lansing Floral. You should mark February 22nd on your calendar so you can come join me at Sheffield's. I'll be there Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. in Dyer. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huckfin is open. You've got to get to Dr. Sherman Clay, chiropractor. Gentle adjusting, most insurance accepted. Massage therapy, too. Walk-ins are welcome. Call 773-324-4325. That's HEAL, Dr. Sherman Clay. You've got to get to the Wise Owl at Van Buren and Racine. Pizzas, pork sliders, Cuban sandwiches, carrot soup, elote, burgers, tacos, salads, and more. Great cocktails and great bartenders. A tremendous array at the Wise Owl, Van Buren and Racine. See you there. You've got to get to Mad Anthony Sports Bar and Grill, 3350 West 47th Street. Serving La Coco's Pizza, always good. A wide variety of sandwiches and a full bar. And my trivia game every other Friday starting at about 545. So good stuff at Matt Anthony. I'll see you over there. We'll have fun. We'll eat, drink, and play on a Friday late afternoon, early evening. We're back on the spotlight, and as we approach March, uh, the Bulls, of course, have completed their toughest road trip, uh, and they're back. But uh, it's been a struggle uh, keeping people in the lineup and trying to run off some kind of a winning streak. So we decided to talk to the coach. He's available before every game. And uh, he had some interesting uh, takes on things. And uh, we kind of pressed him on communication and uh, where this team is headed because uh, there's more than 50 games in the bank and uh, barely a third of the season left. Uh, what's Jimmy's status? Uh, Jimmy's available tonight. Uh, Wade will not play. Um, Zipser will not play and Nico will not play. How much of a workload can Jimmy handle? Full workload? Uh, he feels good. He feels good. You know, it'll be a lot of communication uh, when he's out there on the floor. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll determine how many minutes he plays tonight. Uh, but there's no restrictions uh, on, on minutes, so uh, you know we'll see how he's doing and go from there. Is your team buoyed up by its previous success against Toronto, or are they extra wary because you can only beat a team so long? Well, I mean, we need to we need to come out with great energy tonight. There, there's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, we've uh, had had a couple disappointing games, obviously, to end the road trip. Uh, you know, the way it happened in Phoenix and in Minnesota. Uh, you know, loved the way we played early on uh, against Oklahoma City, against Houston, uh, against Sacramento uh, for most of that game. Uh, you know, lost a couple guys with illness, with injury. Uh, you know, but uh, it's no excuse. Still got to go out and give a great effort. Uh, and that's what it's going to take tonight. You know, as a team, uh, you know, this is as high powered in the backcourt as any in the league. Uh, and it's going to take great energy. Uh, it's going to take attention to detail. Uh, we're going to have to do a much better job of getting back in transition. Simple things, basics, take care of the basketball, uh, and uh, just flat out compete. And if we want to have a chance to win, it's, it's going to take, uh, uh, take all those things. It'll be MCW and Jaron in the backcourt with Jimmy to start? That's the plan, yeah. yeah. 
you, you have a bright team. You seem to be a pretty decent communicator. Why, why do you think you have trouble getting your message across about about the basic things they're supposed to do? Well, it, it, again, it, you know, the way I look at uh, uh, the road trip, we, we were pretty darn good, you know, and, and you know, with uh, uh, everything going around right now, uh, you know, with our team, you know, the messages, you know, I know the Oklahoma City game seemed like it was two months ago. Uh, it was six games ago. It was our most complete game of the season. Uh, then we followed that up with a great effort uh, against Houston without our best player in the lineup, uh, a game we should have won. Uh, we ended up losing in overtime, but I was really proud uh, how we went out there and played. Uh, same thing, two and a half quarters against uh, Sacramento, where I thought we played as, as good a basketball as we have all year. And then that was without Jimmy as well. Uh, found a way to hold, uh, hold off after uh, giving up a big run. Uh, and then again, it was the two disappointing efforts, uh, you know, but we had a pretty good stretch of basketball going there for a while. You know, the Philly game before the trip, the getaway game was an excellent uh, all-around game for our team. Uh, now we've got to get back to that. I mean, we've got to get back to uh, going out there and, and uh, playing together uh, and playing a great effort for 48 minutes. How much do injuries impact team defense? Well, it depends who's injured, I guess, but, uh, you know, it, 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 it does. Uh, you know, we've obviously got a lot of uh, different guys in the rotation that have been going in and out of the lineup. Uh, you know, but when you lose a guy like Jimmy, it's, it's going to affect uh, your defense in a big way. Um, you know, again, you, you have to, uh, you know, have different schemes. Uh, you know, we had, uh, uh, you know, young guys, uh, smaller guys uh, guarding Minnesota's longer wings, uh, you know, in, in some case on towns where we had to have a double team uh, scheme in place, and we did a solid job with it, you know, for the most part. Uh, you know, we did miss a couple rotations uh, out of it, and that's going to happen with young players, you know, especially some of the guys who are getting uh, the opportunity for the first time. But uh, you got to learn from it. Uh, you got to get better. Uh, those guys will continue to get opportunities because of where we are right now with uh, uh, with our lineup, and, and hopefully play better. And we'll have more of Fred Hoiberg next week on the Spotlight. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the no reason flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Kim G. Sherman, psychotherapist, Des Plaines Wellness Center. Therapy for individuals, couples, families. Call 847-962-962. 4849. I've known Kim for over 20 years. She is a true professional and she will help you. Give her a call. Family Dentist Lawrence Furland, DDS, 109th and Kedzie, crowns, veneers, cleanings, improving your smile. They do a great job. Call 773 233 7044. Excellent work. Impeccable. Call the Family Dentist. 773-233-7044. They did a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere, from the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July, just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. You've got to get to the Ballpark Pub for my trivia. Mondays, starting February 20th, and again March 6th at 8 p.m. Come eat and drink and play and win. 514 West Pershing Road, easy to reach just south of Sox Park. Great food and a great atmosphere. Come try it, the Ballpark Pub. You will be glad you did. So as we videotape at the United Center on Valentine's Day, you can walk through. It's okay, it's like a cameo. <laughs> we were talking about Valentine's Day last I heard, yeah. So we figured we'd talk to Denzel Valentine because it's his day, you know, and let him talk about where he's at. I saw him making a lot of shots in the pregame. And uh, see how he's going to carry it over into the real McCoy, the real NBA games. Well, I thought that was that sounded like the Tonight Show, like the, the horns are yeah, yeah. introducing us, ladies and gentlemen. Denzel Valentine. <laughs> so we are, of course, at courtside. 
we're uh, deep into the NBA season. Uh, March is right, right up uh, against us. Actually, we're actually talking on Valentine's Day. That was my approach to Denzel, and he couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> but seriously, um, you know, I saw you warming up, and you know, I, I, it just makes me think. You know, with your your various skills and your success in college, it, it, you know, how close are you to, to breaking through on the NBA scene? Uh, I think I'm real close. Um, you know, all, 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 all I think it's going to take for me is you know one breakout game, and then from you know there on, once I can get in the rotation, you know, just keep building my confidence, keep getting rhythm, you know, keep keep you know keep getting uh, rhythm with the team. And then, you know, once I do that, then I'll just, I think my game will take off. But it's the hardest point to get to that point. So I just got to keep continuing to work. Um, you know, if it doesn't work, you know, this game or next game or this year, even, you know, just keep staying with it. But uh, once I once I break through that one time, then I think I, I'll start to progress a lot. Well, I, you know, from what I have seen, you know, I've seen you both take the ball to the hole. I've seen you pass. I've seen you shoot the long-range jump shot. You know, all of that seems, you know, at a very high level. Um, I'm not as good an assessor of defensive play, uh, so help me out. Assess your own defensive play, and, and what do you need to work on? Uh, you know, obviously, I think I need to keep continuing to get better, but, um, you know, I do feel like, uh, you know, that's one of my strengths. Uh, I can guard, you know, one through three, I, I feel like, at this level. So um, we just got to keep continuing to get, you know, get work, keep guarding these elite-level players. And then, you know, uh, you know, once that happens, just like my offense, once that, once I get my rhythm, you know, once I get in the rotation, uh, I think it'll like, keep continuing to increase too as well. I know Jimmy Butler, when he first arrived here, you know, he came out of a, a pretty strong program at Marquette. Yeah. And, and he was sort of a defensive specialist early, and but then he kind of earned additional playing time. Yeah. You know, do you see yourself as somebody who, you know, it's just going to be a gradual upward curve. Yeah, you know, that's, that's how it's been my whole life with everything. You know, high school, college, you know, I just get better because I keep continuing to work, um, keep believing in myself, and, you know, that's going to, you know, that's what it takes. You know, you just got to keep working, keep believing in yourself, and, you know, hopefully eventually things will work out. Um, but the point is, you just never quit. One thing that you have that's very fortunate, I think, is the other athletes in your family. Could you talk about yeah. it? anybody else who's played? Oh, yeah, my dad. I uh, played at Michigan State, um, 84 through 88. My brother played. So, you know, they have playing experience. Uh, you know, I have coaches uh, and everybody at Michigan State in my corner, too. So, tell me that. But uh, keep continuing to get better, and uh, I'm glad I have them. Okay. As we wrap up, there's so much going on here in the <laughs> pregame. It's I, but we can be heard, don't worry. Yeah. The mic's very isolated. Okay. Um, my other job besides television is doing um, trivia shows. Yeah. And so I, I'm, I'm a little short for, for my next show. I, wa I want to know if you could give me um, maybe three favorite artists of yours. And, I, and I'll Music. use it. Uh, yeah, musical uh, artists. And I'll use it in my game. Okay. Um, who, who do you like in the R&B area? R&B? Uh... R&B, uh, Chris Brown is nice, uh, like, uh, uh, All right, let, let's, let's, let me switch genres now. Who do you like in rap? Uh, yeah, that's what I mainly listen to, Drake. Um, this is new rapper called, um, A Boogie with a Hoodie. I've been listening to a lot. Um, plus, uh, uh, Can I come with you? Okay, okay. That's that's good. That'll yeah. that'll cover me. Yeah. I'll pick out just a couple of highlights of that, oh, okay. and I'll say, ladies and gentlemen, here are Denzel's trivia questions for the <laughs> week. And don't freak out. You didn't talk to him, and I say, watch the show. <laughs> I appreciate yeah, your help. No problem. All right, just All right. keep hitting it. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huck Finn is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Alsa, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and a fabulous rate of cloth. Call 708-388-3700.
And now video gaming is available at Red Shoes from open till close. And don't forget the Illinois Lottery 2. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. You've got to get to the sock. Live Bidkowski trivia, alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Great game, great people. Check out the sock. I think you'll be glad you did when you go to my trivia game every other Thursday. 8 p.m., 93rd and Roberts Road. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. Does tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Papa Joe's new location, 5900 West 111th Street. Italian beef, tetrazzini, great pizza, parmesan, ravioli, and more. All my classic choices. New location, and they can still deliver into the city. Get to Papa Joe's. You've got to get to Lulu's, a great place at Taylor and Ogden. Italian beef, hot dogs, burgers, chicken, gyros, fish, salads, subs, ribs, fries, all kinds of soft drinks. They got it all at Lulu's. Taylor and Ogden, go check it out. We're at SoxFest, and sometimes you're just running around crazily trying to get as many interviews as you can. You see two guys, you don't want one to have to wait, so you get them both at once. And that's what I decided to do when I went to the White Sox bullpen and talked to two pals whose lockers are kind of close. They seem to know each other pretty well. They seem to advise each other, and they tell you about that uh, as they compare notes on various injuries and surgeries they've had over the years. We're at SoxFest. We're jamming in every last possible interview. So <laughs> I talk as fast as I can. What are you looking forward to in 2017? Uh, just for me, getting back on the field. Uh, it's been too long and really excited to start playing again. You got a goal, number of games pitched or something like that, or innings? Every time they call my name, go out there. Yeah. And do you feel the same way? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you want to be ready to answer that uh, call whenever they do. You know, Coop's on the other line. So we're, uh, we're excited about that. And we're obviously excited about all these new guys we got in the trades. We want to see what they can do. And the guys coming up through our system, like uh, Birdie and Palmer and Zach Collins, we want to see what they can do in spring training. So it's just an uh, exciting time, I guess, to want to, as Jake said earlier, create this new White Sox family. Yeah, that's an interesting outlook. Now, unfortunately, uh, your GM said today it's very hard to retool and be highly competitive in the same season. Are, are you concerned about being slow getting out of the gate? No, I think it's just going to be a, a thing of do your job and realize at the end the team will be where it needs to be. If we do our job pitching, hitters do their thing hitting, next thing you know is we're going to be winning games. And we could start that right out of the gate. So. Yeah, I, I guess one thought, school of thought is there's no pressure on your club, you know, like you're coming in with tons of 40 home run hitting veterans. You're this club and maybe you surprise people. Exactly, and that's what we hope to do. We hope to, you know, be quick. We hope to pitch. We hope to hit. We hope to steal bases. You know, we, we just got to get going on that early. You know, like Jake said, it'd be, we can do that right out of the gate. You saw it last year right out of the gate, but hopefully, you know, we can do it a little bit longer than we did last year. Yeah, but, that's uh, right. So it'll be 23 and 10, I have a, yeah. get the numbers stuck in my yes, head. Yes. Yeah, but you want to quadruple that. Mm -hmm. yes. I think that would be 92 wins, by the way, doing the math. Um, <laughs> Fundamentally, is there any chance this team could be a little sharper in that regard with, uh, you know, from the pitcher standpoint, maybe less walks, from the hitter standpoint, uh, uh, better on base percentage? Yeah, I think that's just one of those year-to-year -year things that sometimes they fluctuate, and I think, yeah, we definitely have room for improvement, and that's something we'll focus on in spring. Okay. Um, talk about, you know, the roles in the bullpen. You know, I know you uh, got a lot of eighth inning action. Um, are you happy with eighth inning action, or would you like to some to close some here and there? I mean, I'm perfectly happy throwing throwing the eighth inning. But I mean, if there's opportunities for the ninth, obviously, I think everybody'd be jumping at that, you know, because as a reliever, that's the inning, you know, the, the top inning that you want. But you know, I think I'm perfectly content where I'm at, and just I'm perfectly content just being on a big league team. And so, whatever job they want me to do, that's I'm willing to do that. Do you, are you able to be the the 
the kind of wise old sage talking about coming back from an injury because you know with with surgery and all you you've been through it all and have you been able to help him with that no we we talk about it. we go back and forth about because he actually had tommy john back in the day and he talked to me oh. about it when i was going through it so okay. yeah we're always out there we're talking ideas we're talking routines we're talking you know, just workouts and stuff like that that helped us and might help me or help him. And so we always bounce ideas off each other. Yeah, I wasn't giving you credit for, for being as resilient as you are. Yeah, no, the TJ was, that was back before pro ball. That was in college. And yeah, like Nate said, it's when he had it, it's like, hey, don't worry. It's not going to feel good every day, but just worry about the next day. And it, yeah, we help each other out big time. Well, uh, certainly from the locker room perspective and a reporter's job, these guys make it easy for me because they're always accessible and always have a kind word. Hopefully they'll have uh, some stuff on the fists for those late inning batters and uh, get a lot of outs recorded and make this team uh, a pleasant surprise in 2017. You've got to get to Jacks. 3325 Ridge Road in Lansing. Trivia every Tuesday at 7 p.m. A very intense competitive game. Any of half a dozen teams can win. My game show at Oliver's gets better and better. At 6100 West 159th Street in Oak Forest. Live trivia, alternate Thursdays at 7 p.m. Have great food, great drink, and great trivia at Oliver's. Perfect pitch auto repair at what 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect pitch auto repair, 108th and Kedzie. Trivia will be at the SOC. Alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Great food, great drink, great people. Everything great. You've got to get the Del Sur Mexican restaurant open for lunch and dinner daily. Shrimp, tilapia, salmon, steak, chicken dishes, you name it. It's all there at 46th and Halsted. Great stuff at Del Sur Mexican restaurant. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, great food and drink at 21st and State. And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. You better get to Jackie's Hot Dogs. Open past midnight, seven-day pitch auto repair at what 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect pitch auto repair, 108th and Kedzie. Trivia will be at the SOC. Alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road, great food, great drink, great people, everything great. You've got to get the Del Sur Mexican restaurant open for lunch and dinner daily. Shrimp, tilapia, salmon, steak, chicken dishes, you name it. It's all there at 46th and Halsted. Great stuff at Del Sur Mexican restaurant. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, Great food and drink at 21st and State. And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. He's not. He's not. In 2003, you say, you don't know my name. Oh. Five seconds. Going. Beyonce is not it. We go to night out. It's 200. Looks like a drum. So it's a night out throw. Toughest conditions in the history of trivia. If you make it, you've really earned it. Yeah, a lot of farms say, boy, we're glad we're jagging all these guys around. But it's time for the lava farms to go all the way down. Oh, that's, you're, 
your concept looks good, but give me a little hot. So we go to Jamie. Oh, Shy Oh, sorry, Shy Shark. You don't know my name. Alicia Keys is right. So Shy Sharks is 790. Boy, they are uh, quite an interesting blended team over there by there. All right, we are at the uh, end of the half. These are the scores right now. And uh, we got the Shy Sharks at 790. We've got Jamie 520, the Sock 510. You got the Aliens at 450. You got the Stooges at 350. You got Night Out at 290. The Bar at 260. The Incredibles 260. Mama Farm will start at 250. Four topics in the second half. Grab yourself some dessert, clean your plate, and then we'll play more. Oh my God. So, um, uh, Sally has come back after a little absence of trivia. We're so glad to have her. And she's a very big part of the first award because uh, the first award is named after her husband. It's the Doc Adalgo Award. And it goes to a player who has exhibited great skill over a huge span of time. It's the Lifetime Achievement Award. And tonight, it goes to one of her teammates, Michael McGlennigan. Thank you, sir. Thank you, dear. Good to see you again. So, that's poignant. Thank you, Sally. So, uh, okay, we got a few more. The best thrower is a very tricky award. Um, there are throws of various distances and angles, and tonight's is the hardest of all time. But it, it does reflect a little bit about throwing here at Jack's. And in the three-throw era, that's T-H-R-E-E, -E, uh, there are some really interesting strategies that go into it. Especially almost like field goal kickers the short person and the long person and I've been impressed over the years with the focus and tenacity of a particular short thrower who is consistent as hell and is overdue in winning this and so the 2016 best thrower Patrick Flaherty award goes to from Night Out, Patty. This week's show has been brought to you by the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Shop. They do it all at 108th and Kedzie. Huck Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. In print graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound, saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing. Call 708-396-1010.